This is a Chris 6 News Update with Katia Udiarte. Hi everyone, good morning. Today is Thursday, December 6th, and here are your Chris 6 morning headlines. A local college has had its accreditation suspended, and now students are left with an uncertain future. The Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools has suspended the accreditation for Brightwood College. One nursing student we talked with says she just recently took out a loan for her tuition, and now she fears that money is gone. We come in looking to better our lives. We have a plan and we're gonna get it going. And you know, it's almost like you finally have it figured out. And then this news hits and it's just really, it leaves you lost and confused. Like you don't really know where to go from here. Now, Brightwood plans to appeal the accreditation suspension. The city of Galveston signing an understanding this week to build an additional cruise terminal in its port, and it would be for Royal Caribbean. That would be the third terminal in Galveston for cruise ships. State Representative Todd Hunter, as you may recall, has talked for years about bringing the cruise shipping industry to South Texas. Well, tonight we're going to talk with Hunter about what this third terminal in Galveston means for the cruise industry in Texas and where our future with it stands. That's tonight on Chris and how about a bit of good news this morning? Check this out. This is what we found out in the bluff this morning. Gas for under $2. Look at that sign. $1.93 for a gallon of unleaded. This is at the stripes off SPID and Waldron Road. If you find cheaper gas than this, let us know. Send us a message on our Chris 6 Facebook page. Look at this. Oh, yeah. The second edition of the ever popular Selena bags went on sale early this morning. And you know what? Selena fans hit HEB stores ready to buy. We actually talked with one of Selena's fans who even sewed this shirt herself with Selena's picture on it. She was first in line at the HEB on Saratoga, and she was first in line for the first bags as well. I just love Selena. I don't care what people say. I love Selena. <laughs> She means a lot to me. I love that design. I just love it. I can't wait to show it all. <laughs> oh, it is pretty, right? She's a super fan. The bags are still available at HEB stores. In fact, HEB says that they made more bags this time around so that fans can get their hands on them. However, there is a limit of two bags per transaction. Listen, a friend is headed our way, expected to bring with it some strong storms this weekend. McLovio Perez is keeping an eye on the forecast for us. What's going on, Mac? Well, thank you very much. Uh, we are looking for a big rain coming in as soon as tomorrow. Everything is si lining up. We've got the cloud cover from the south. We've got cold air from the north and that big area of low pressure approaching us on Friday afternoon and evening is when the peak event is here. We could see some significant thunderstorms around here that'll drop two to four inches of rain, especially just to the north of us up toward maybe Beeville and Victoria. So keep that in mind if you're traveling, especially Friday night. And by Saturday morning, we got a full blown winter storm in the Panhandle with snow as far south possibly as the Midland Odessa area. So today on the mild side, but cloudy and damp. Tonight we pick up the steady rain and then it's just a washout all of Friday. Friday night, the stormy weather, then Saturday morning it clears out for much colder weather on Sunday. That's your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy and Katia back to you. All right. Mac, thank you for that. And listen, before we go, we want to introduce you to a Robstown High School student who is making history. After a lot of hard work, a ton of dedication, and many sleepless nights, 17-year-old AJ Barrera will walk across the big stage, not to get his high school diploma, but to get his associate's degree in science and liberal arts from Del Mar College. The Robstown's early college high school student is the first to get his associate's degree months before getting his high school diploma. He took dual credit classes and he's going to receive his associate's degree next week. And now AJ has his eyes set on his future. We're going to share more of AJ's story coming up later tonight on Chris 6 News. Hope that you will join us then. And that is your Chris 6 News update for this Thursday, December 6th. Make sure to tune in to Chris 6 at noon, 5, 6, and 10. I'm Kat Duriarte. Have a great day.